What's going on everyone? Welcome to another episode. There'll be a few episodes today, maybe one more after this later on. But I had to show this because this is the uruk armor. And um, a sword as well, two swords actually. Which of course is from the Lord of the Rings. And I had to show it because, you know, it's awesome. Here it is. Very nice and um, stylish. The author, the author actually said it's not exactly spot on with the movies and this and that, blah, blah, blah. I think it's quite good myself, though. I mean, it looks similar to the movies in quite a few ways. There's not much differences. And uh, it's awesome. Even the shield. The shield looks amazing, as well as the sword. The sword is just perfect, as you can see. The sword is excellent. There's nothing you can say about the sword. And there is one thing that I didn't like, and... I mean, it would have been better to add it to the game anyway. Um, there was no boots or gauntlets with it so obviously you'd be like this so I had to add orcish which fit nicely they combine nicely together and look good with the armor set anyway this also comes with two more helmets this is the Urukai helmet itself it also comes with a berserker helmet nope that's a sword forget the sword no um, the berserker helmet there you go And we've got the Commander's Helmet, which is probably the best, design-wise. Little eyeballs. It, again, it looks really good, and <laughs> you can't say much bad about it. Um, I believe this is still being worked on as well, so it probably will improve. But overall, I like the original helmet, because it looks the best, I think. Anyway, let's look at this sword. Let's start with the original. The Urukai sword, and I like I said, I think it looks great. I can't see anything wrong with it. Let's go try it out on some people. Firstly, I better put God Mode on because I don't want to get my ass ripped. Let me change the FOV real quick back to default. Nothing. Nothing. And your head's gone. You're still talking while you're dying. That's um, that's quite cool. Oh, my little trapdoor of doom. <laughs> Where could that possibly lead me? Anyway, let's go around here, try some a few more people. Check out the blood textures. Critical strike. Check, check, well, Nazim's going for me as well as a guard. The shield textures are actually quite good as well. Come on, boys! Nazim! Really? And the zing's been killed. I'm sure quite a few of you will like that. Anyway, let's try the second sword. Sorry about that. I scratched my eyeball, so the mic might have gone crazy. Um, the Berserker Sword, which is a two-handed weapon. Nice and big. Again, it looks cool. Now, I'm not sure what difficulty I'm on, by the way, so... You know, usual. I think it's on normal right now. Adept, whatever. So the guard's got quite a bit of health. But the blood textures on this sword are even better than the last, I and mean, you can really see the detail on them. Once I kill this guard, I'll go into the sunlight, out of the shade. I mean, look at that. That looks sick. That is just awesome all the way through the weapon. What a waste. I don't think so. Now, that is basically the weapon and the helmets. I'll show you them up close real quick, because um, some of them need to be seen up close, the helmets and such, a good detail. Anyway... Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Watch out later on because they will be another episode. And go check out the mod on the Nexus. Bye bye.